and gentlemen, at this time we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Tonight's anthem is to be performed by the RHS Pet Band. It in a while. Yeah. We got a new band director. She's pepping them up a little bit. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester Community High School for tonight's non conference matchup between the Argus Lady Dragons. You want in there? No. Rochester I am. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups. School time now for the starting lineups being brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle. The Argus Dragons come in with a record of three and six, coached by Mr. Scott Jennings, and they're going to start at number ten. A senior, Samantha Redinger, they're going to start a junior wearing number fourteen, Elida Lead, and they're going to start another junior, number twenty-two, Morgan Barkus, a sophomore, number twenty-four, Ellie Bolenbacher. And a senior, number 30, Elisa Sarver, the starting lineups for the Argus Dragons. You heard Coach uh, Burris give you the starters for the Lady Zebras, but the 5-5 five and five Zebras are going to start the same. They have uh, all season long. Uh, so freshman, number 2, Aubrey Wilson. Another freshman, number 15, Jaden Field. And three juniors, number 3, Riley Clovenger, 25, Andre Bollinger. And number 33, Ella McCarter, Coach Joel Burris in his second year here at Rochester High School. Well, we've talked about Samantha Bollinger. She's, here we are, nine games in, and she's Red, still. Red, Redinger. Redinger, sorry. I, I get them back. <laughs> but here she is, nine games in, Val. She's still averaging 34. We've seen games where she's had 49 and 50 back-to-back. -back. Yeah, her season low is 19, <laughs> which is, and that was against a pretty good Triton team. In fact, that was really the one bad yeah. game Argus has played all year. Okay. They lost by 14 at Triton. But Triton's a pretty good team. Uh, so, I mean, this is an Argus team that, you know, as long as they have Redinger, they'll have a chance. And I know all three of Argus's wins, Redinger has outscored the opposing team all by herself in all three of the wins, wow. which is amazing. Yeah. That, that happens like once in a, <laughs> once in a, once in a decade. Yeah, no kidding. That's a big story. She's done it three times this year. But having said that, Argus has had trouble stopping teams, and, you know, they're coming off those back-to-back -back losses to North Judson and, and West Central. So... Again, I think if the ladies these run their offense, I think that you know they can get some good shots. We'll see what happens as we get ready for the tip. Again, the starter lineup is being brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future. Please recycle as we get ready to go here at Rochester High School. Coming up tomorrow night, we're in a different time zone, Val. We head to North Judson for the guys in the Blue Jays. Yeah, North Judson up to number nine in yeah. Class 2A. They... They have done it with defense so far this year, but you could say the Zebras have done it with defense themselves. I think it'll be an interesting one tomorrow night. An interesting one. Maybe not a lot of points, yeah. but uh, yeah. a pretty intense battle. Here we go. It's going to be Renninger and McCarter to jump. Ball's in the air, and it's going to be controlled by the Dragons. Here is Sarver with it. Excuse me, that's lead. Now they bring it to the near side. Argus with it. Now to Renninger. Renninger down low. They get looking to get it back to her. Now they go down low to Lowenbacher. She's back out to Renninger. Redinger down in the corner. They go back down low to Redinger. She goes to work at the block, up and good. 
Reininger's got two and it's two to nothing. Here comes the press by the Dragons. Wilson in the backcourt. Going to have to get it off. She finally does to Clevenger. Clevenger gets it across the timeline. 30 seconds gone by in the opening quarter. They try to go over the top. It's tipped. Picked back up by Wilson. Tipped again. This time stolen by Barkas. Barkas. by Barkas. Ahead to Bowling to Renninger. Renninger then has it tipped. It'll be out of bounds. She tried to draw a foul as she just kind of threw it up there, but it'll be touched by the Zebras out of bounds to Argus. Argus came on the 1-3-1 zone. Four across the bottom. They go to inbound. They get it right to Renninger, and she's going to be fouled. Somebody lost her in that inbounds play. And the foul is going to be against Wilson, her first, first of the quarter, but uh, Coach Burris can't be happy that you lose Renninger on an inbound play. And Redinger misses the first free throw. I think she had a, I think she had a game where she went 11 for 11 from the line earlier yeah. this year. So she's 0 for 1 to start. Yeah, she's a good free throw shooter. As on top of all that, that hook shot she had in the post that was, that's a new one to her repertoire this year. She'll have one more. She makes that one. It's a three nothing lead for the Dragons. Here's that press put on again by Argus. This time McCarter will bring it up. She breaks it easily. McCarter jump stop at the free th or three point line. Gives it out to Wilson right side. Wilson back to McCarter at the free throw line. Kick it out to Clevenger. Three on the way for her. Off the mark, no good. Wilson battles for the rebound. And we're going to have a foul on the floor as Lead and Wilson battle for it. And they're going to get Lead on the foul. And that's going to be Lead's first. Team first of the Dragons. It was not any active shooting. No, out of bounds. Hmm. Clevenger to inbound. She gets it to McCarter. McCarter right back to Clevenger in the corner. Fakes the three. Now dribbles back up. They go to the top to McCarter. Now over to Wilson, left wing. She'll think about a three. Here it is. And it's good. We're tied at three. Aubrey Wilson ties it up with 6.45 to go here in the opening quarter. That's a good early sign. Aubrey scored only two points against Southwood the other night. Lead with the basketball. Now they go to Bollenbacher. Back over to Renninger. Now down in the corner. That's Sarver with it. Sarver gives it down up to Bollenbacher. Back to Sarver. Sarver back over to Redinger. Redinger against Wilson in that 2-3. Now they bring it back up top to Barkas. Swing it. And they try to go down low. And it's stolen by Field. Great job by Jaden Field. Field with a steal. Gives it to Wilson. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger then is going to be fouled. And it's going to be on Barkas, her first team second. 22, Barkas, her first. 6.16 to go here on the uh, Rochester Glass scoreboard, and we're tied at three. It'll be inbounds right in front of the Argus bench. McCarter will do it. McCarter triggles it in. McCarter has it now. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key. Now to Wilson, right side. Wilson holds over the top to Clevenger. Now left side down to McCarter. Penetrates, throws it to Wilson. Almost lost it. Had to go get it. Now she regroups. Out into Clevenger. Clevenger from the free throw line. On the way, no good. And a quick rebound to Redinger. Renninger looks to push. She'll bring it across the timeline. She'll go right side now to Barkas. Barkas then travels. Got a little indecisive there. Didn't know whether to drive it or, yeah. or pass it and wound up walking. So it'll be a turnover on Argus. 5.49 to go here in the opening quarter. Still tied at three. Again, let's see if Rochester tries some, to initiate some offense from the side. Zebras. Against the 1-3-1. One, one. Yeah. Here is Wilson with the basketball. Now they go left side to Clevenger, back to the top. The key to Wilson, right side. To McCarter, free throw line. She didn't even look at the basket, just turns around, throws it right back to Clevenger. Here's Wilson trying to go down low. They swing it out to McCarter. She'll drive in, 10-footer on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound comes to the Dragons. Here's Barkas push. That's the right idea by McCarter. Yeah, good look. Now into the corner, it goes over the top of Sarver, and another turnover on the Dragons. Back-to-back -back trips right. down, and they turn it over. Argus seems to want to pass the ball to the wings yeah. and then find a cutter down the middle or get to, or run uh, Redinger off the ball down the middle. So now here comes the Zebras after the turnover. Wilson crosses the timeline, middle of the court. Fakes to go over the top. Now they go to McCarter, right side, back to Wilson, now to Clevenger. Clevenger holds. 1-3-1 one, one again by the Dragons. Ball movement over the top, back to Wilson. Wilson holds on the right side, over the top to Clevenger. Two foot behind the line, she'll fire it, misses it. Goes out of bounds, it'll be Zebra, or excuse me, Dragon basketball. Well, Coach Burris always says, Clevenger, if she can get those first couple, she look out, she's gonna have a good night. She's missed yeah. a couple open shots here tonight. Hopefully she can keep shooting and get that out of her system. All right, they're open shots. Yeah, here's Redinger with it. Redinger now down to Sarver, back to Redinger. She drives in off the glass, good. 
Rager gives the Dragons a two-point lead, and it's five to three. Here's Wilson with the basketball. And get the ball to the wing and then flare Rager inside. stolen. McCarter, 15-footer, good. Ella McCarter ties it back up at five. 420 to go here in the opening quarter. That shot will be open against the 1-3-1. They give it to Renninger in front of the bench. Now down in the corner. Sarver foot inside the three-point line is good. Coach Jennings has said Sarver's really didn't work down her mid-range jump shot, and there you saw it right there. Nice, nice shot. Two-point lead for the Dragons. Now they swing it on the far side. That's McCarter. Now to Wilson. Wilson, cross-court pass to McCarter, left wing. McCarter, one bounce. Now to Clevenger. Under four to go here in the opening quarter. They go to McCarter. McCarter drives in, looking for Bollinger. Can't get it to her. Now they swing it to the near side. Now to Wilson, quickly down to the block to Field. Field, couple dribbles down low, and the shot goes up. No good. But she's going to be fouled, and she'll get to go to the free throw line. Nice job by Jean. She uses that dribble to kind of establish her feet and yeah. get for strength. Mm -hmm. Field will now go to the line. That foul was on Sarver, the Dragons. It's her first, team third. So Field will go to the line to try to tie this thing back up. 7-5, Dragons lead here in the first quarter. Just past halfway. First free throw on the way is in and out and back in. Good. Field with her first point, 7-6 now. One point lead for the Dragons. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight. Second free throw on the way and rolls out. No good. Tipped out of bounds by McCarter. It'll go back to the Dragons. 7-6 with 3.43 to go here in this opening quarter. That free throw shooting form by Field, that's really gets some work, right? A little, a little different. Worked on in the next three years. <laughs> Here's the Dragons with the basketball. They go into Redinger. Redinger falling away, throws it down low. It's up for Bollenbacher up off the glass. Good. Wow. How did that pass get in the I post? have no idea. But it's a three-point lead now for the Dragons, 9-6. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Up top now to Clevenger. Clevenger. Back to the left side now to McCarter. In front of the Argus bench. McCarter drives, kicks it to Wilson. Now down low to field. Ten-footer on the way for her. Too hard. Reading her with the rebound. Well, that shot's going to be open. I'm not sure Field's the one you want shooting it, though. Yeah, that was a force, a little force maybe for yeah. Field. Down low now here is Lead. Lead has it. Back up to Ballenbach. Or, excuse me, that is Reddinger. Reddinger, they swing it to the corner. Here's Sarver. Three on the way from the right wing. Off the mark, no good. McCarter gets the rebound. McCarter has it. Quickly up to Wilson. Left wing. Wilson squares up for a three off the mark. No good. And a quick rebound by Marcus. Marcus. Marcus is a good rebounder for a guard. She'll bring it up. Gives it off to Redinger. Redinger right side. They go down low to Bollenbacher. Back over to Redinger. Right wing. Back down low to Bollenbacher. Up off the glass is good. Argus just working inside and out until they can find something. And now they get a five-point lead. 11 to 6 with Bowling, 218. Bullenbacher's going to be a real good one. She's only a sophomore. Here is Wilson on the left wing. Wilson back up top to Clevenger. Drives in, kicks it out to McCarter. McCarter fakes a three, steps in for a two. No good. Rebound. Off to the Dragons and lead. Two minutes to go, and Coach Jennings wants a timeout. It's just a 30 second timeout with 204 to go in the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It's a five point Dragon lead, 11 to 6 here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. We'll keep it here and tell you about First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County Best One Tire, the most important person to them is you. RTC Communications, phone, cable, and internet. Shepard Chevrolet, GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. And by Fulton County REMC, making a better tomorrow since 1936. Coach Jennings calling the timeout. Val, what, what do you suspect he uh, wanted to talk about? What, what it seems like Rochester is doing is they're running off, Samantha running her off the three-point line. If she's going to beat him, beat him with twos, yeah. beat him off the dribble, but don't beat them with, you're not going to beat us with threes. So let's see uh, if maybe he's going to try and get Redinger in the post a little bit to try and maybe loosen up that perimeter defense. Hottishell comes in and Bollinger will sit down. Here's Lead with the basketball. Lead now down in the corner. Sarver, 12-footer on the way for her. Off the mark, no good. Bullenbarker with the rebound. Kicks it out to Barkas. Her shot up, no good. Rebound fought for. Field comes away with it. And we're going to have a foul. And it's going to be on the Dragons. And that'll be number four of the quarter. Dragons foul. And it's going to be Bullenbarker's first. 
So with a minute 49 remaining, the Zebras there have been a might of, get a chance to shoot free throws. There have been a number of Bolenbachers who played there basketball has. at Argus over the years. Uh, and she is the most recent one. She had a, a sister, Olivia, who was a very good player as well. Clevenger with the basketball. Now to Wilson. Back to Clevenger, right wing. Zebras working the perimeter against that 1-3-1. One, one. Here's Clevenger. Clevenger has it, backs it back out. Minute and a half to go. Wilson picks it up and dribble. Now to Clevenger. Drives in. Gives it to McCarter. Elbow jumper on the way. Hard off the back of the iron. And fought for. Almost got the rebound. It's going to be last touch by... McCarter to go to Argus. That's really been the story of the first quarter. Rochester's been getting good yeah. looks, but can't make them. Yeah, I mean, can't get it to drop. Good looks by players who were capable of making the shots they're taking, but haven't made them yet. Lead with the basketball now to Marcus. Marcus to Redinger. Redinger, right side. They go to Marcus. It's stolen. Here's Wilson, right hand layup all alone, up and good. Uh, Aubrey Wilson's got five of the eight. It's 11 to eight with under a minute to go. Here's Barkus, back to lead. Lead, now to Bolenbacher, down low to Redinger. Redinger throws up a shot as she's falling down and a foul coming. And that one's going to be whistled on the field. It's going to be her first, team a second. Rollinger is just dangerous away from the basketball, able to yeah. get open, and her teammates can get her the ball. Right, it sounded like, sound like the other four people just stand around and watch her. <laughs> uh, it's Redinger's first free throw, good. Two for three so far in the evening. She's got six points of the 12. She's got a second one coming and gets that one to roll over the front of the iron. 13 to eight now with 50 seconds to go in the quarter. Rochester with the basketball. Here's Wilson over the top now to Clevenger. Now swings it to Hottishell. Back up top to Wilson. Fakes it three. Now they swing it back side to Hottishell. Hottishell dribbles in. Leaves it for field. Field dribbles down low. Goes up. No good. Rebound fought for. And now Field's going to get a pushing foul. And that's going to be her second with 33 seconds to go. Not what Coach Burris wanted there. No, that was that didn't have to happen. And Field and will come out, bowling her in. Hunter will come in and Hottishell out. And again, Mia Hottishell made a really nice move, made a little, to get to, made a little pump fake uh, dribble to get to the elbow, and that helped on the angle to the pass. But again, Rochester just can't finish. 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. 13 to 8, Argus lead. Here is lead with it to Redinger. Redinger throws up a shot. No good. Wanted a foul. Airballed it. Wilson gets the rebound. I think Wilson. she was fouled. Yeah. To Clevenger. Three on the way. No good. And a rebound comes away to Bullenbacher. Good box up by Bullenbacher. Quickly ahead. Here is lead with it. Lead with six. They looking for Redinger. Ranger has it with four. Ranger around the screen, throws up a jumper at the buzzer. Good. 15 to eight at the end of one quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. The second quarter when we come back, you're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School as we get ready to start the second quarter again on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. A 15 to eight, Dragons lead and the Zebras will get the ball to start the second quarter. Samantha Renninger leading the way with uh, nine of the 15 for Argus, and uh, Wilson has five of the eight for Rochester. Neither Barkus nor Lead has scored yet, but Argus leads by seven. That's a very good sign if you're a Lady Dragon fan. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Again, Dragons in that 1-3-1, one, one. something Rochester really hasn't seen. I don't think anybody's really done a 1-3-1 one, one against them. Struggling a little bit with getting the ball in the hole. There's good. a steal and a deflection by the Dragons. Good team defense by both uh, Sarver and Lead. Here's Argus with the basketball. Bolenbacher now down in the corner to Lead. Now they get it to Renninger over the top. Now that's Marcus. Back to Renninger. Renninger, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Good and defense by Braylon Hunter. Quick rebound by McCarter. I mean, that's <laughs> it's textbook. Mean, yeah, I mean, she might she might have made the shot, but. Yeah, she, uh, had, some, she had some pressure against her. Right. So here's Rochester with it. Clevenger, right side. Now back up top. They swing it over to Hunter. Hunter, back at the top of the key. Clevenger, back to Wilson. One minute gone by here in the quarter. Wilson, three on the way from the left side. Off the mark. Didn't hit nothing but backboard. Argus gets the rebound. Goes up to Renninger. Now over to Barkus. Barkus will have it. Now back to Renninger. Back to Barkus as they cross the timeline. Renninger has it. Almost stolen by her own teammate. And there's Bolenbacher. They go over the top to Renninger. She'll drive, kick it out. Here's Lee. Lee. We bring it back up top. She returns it and a travel. 
Turnover number five for Argus, two for Rochester. 634. But the shooting woes for Rochester are, yeah. are just ugly. And I mean they're it's not like they're just missing, barely missing shots. They're they're way off. Right. Clevenger with it. Top of the key, Wilson left side now to Wilson or to um, Hunter. Wilson drives in, leaves it for uh, Clevenger, but it's gonna be knocked out of bounds by lead. Coming in will be Hanna Shell back for the Zebras and she'll replace Hunter. 6.20 to go before halftime, still 15 to eight on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Olivia Lead is the goalkeeper on their soccer team at Argus, uh -huh. and so she's got good hand-eye coordination and good quick reflexes that really help her out on defense. Hot as shell on the far side. Skips it over the top to Wilson, back to Clevenger, now the elbow. Here's Wilson on the around the screen. Goes up for the shot, no good. Last touch by the Zebras. It'll be Argus basketball. Good box out by Redinger, but again, I, I think that's the right idea. I mean, uh, that baseline shot should be open, mm -hmm. that mid-range 12-footer, but until the Zebras hit it. Yeah. Vargas going to keep putting putting pressure, letting them shoot it. Six minutes to go. 15 to 8. Here's Vargas with the basketball. Now it's lead. Lead, top of the key. Now over to Barkas. Barkas back to lead. Lead now gives it off to Bolenbacher. Down to Renninger. Kicks it out. Lead three-pointer from the left side. Off the mark and bounces back in. What a bounce for lead. And they extend the lead now to 10. You beat me to that, Randy. Huh? You beat me to that, extending the lead. Uh, you like that? Yeah, I do. I knew you were coming up with it, so I wanted to <laughs> turn over Rochester as they throw it to the Argus bench and uh, wrong side. Turnover number three. Spencer Coach Jennings is a veteran assistant coach and Dave Duncan, yeah. who has what, over three decades of coaching experience, and the kids just love him. Yeah. Quick shot by Renner on the other end. No good. Hot show with the rebound. Hot show with it. Coach Burris says, let's push. Don't let them get set up in that 1-3-1, and the Zebras slow it down. Here's Hanashell with it. She'll wait. Now they're going to be kicked. It'll be back to the Zebras. They'll reset in front of the Argus bench. 5-12 to go. 10-point lead. And I know he's had a lot of, he's worked a lot with Samantha Redinger in terms of developing her yeah. offensive game. He's worked with a lot of the other players. Hanashell throws a pass right into the hands of Barkas. Now here's Argus with it. Argus to Sarver. Now top of the key. Here's a three on the way for Sarver, or excuse me, that was Barkus, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Argus. It'll be Zebras to bring it the distance. Five minutes to go. And this is an Argus team that allowed 60 plus points against both North Judson and West Central last yeah. week. About Rochester to eight, and another silly turnover. Miscommunication as the Zebras try to get their offense set up. Clevenger throws it back right in between Wilson and McCarter, and it goes out of bounds. Here's Barkas with the basketball after the inbound and the turnover. Over five minutes since Rochester last scored. Here's lead with it. Now to Renninger. She drives the lane. Jumper on the way. Short. And picked up by Hunter. Zebra's doing a good job of making Renninger shoot maybe uh, a little quicker than she likes. Here's Clevenger. Left side. Clevenger. Now to Wilson. Over the top to Clevenger. Argus has extended that top person out a little bit further, put some more pressure on Wilson and Clevenger out top. Here's Hunter from the right wing. Three on the way, good for her. Hunter breaks the dry spell, and it's 18 to 11. Here's lead with it, now to Bullenbarger. Now over to Barkas. Barkas has it, three on the way for her, straight away, good. Barkas. Takes it back to a 10 point lead, 21 to 11. 3.50 to go here in the first half. Hunter again in the corner. Now they go back up top. Clevenger with it. Back over to Wilson on the far side. Wilson, pull up jumper, rolls over the top of the iron, rebound to Hunter. And Hunter got five in the corner. All five of the Rochester points this quarter belong to Braylon Hunter. But just the energy she's brought up the bench has been great. Three on the way from Redinger. That one was on the bench of the Rochester Zebras. 24-13. That was deep. Yeah, and she's really comfortable in the wings. Here's Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key. 24-13. Here's Bollinger. Tries to go back to Clevenger and stolen. It's Redinger. Redinger runs it to Barkas and throws it out of bounds. You know, it's interesting, Argus graduated a veteran point guard in Bailey Binkley and two other veteran players in Bella Stoltz and Emma Dunlap, but they're, if anything, they're playing faster this year. Yeah, they seem to be. Uh, 
than, than they did last year. I don't remember them being this quick last time we played yeah. when Rochester played them last year. Over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger back over the top to Wilson. Under three to go in the quarter. Again, over the top. Here's Clevenger, three left wing off the mark. And rebound Hunter back up and good. What a great block out for the offensive rebound in Braylon Hunter. 24-15. Here's Rendinger. The best thing you can do when you're coming off the bench is give energy. Here is Sarver with the basketball on the corner. Sarver gives it to Barkas. Barkas then travels. Kind of deflected by Rochester as they cut. And a great job by the Zebra defense there. Obviously, the official had a better look than we did. That looked like uh, I thought the Rochester player got a hand on the ball. Yeah. So that would not be a walk. No. But, again, he had a better look than I did. Two and a half to go before halftime. 24-15. Zebra's now with the basketball. There's Clevenger. They give it to McCarter. McCarter on the far side. McCarter looking to get it to Wilson. Back top of the key. McCarter with it back left side. Back up top at the volleyball line. Stolen by Renninger. The pass was intended for McCarter. Renninger hesitates, looks, spin move, throws up a shot, no good. And it's going to be last touch by McCarter as she's standing out of bounds. It'll be a two Argus. Renninger will inbound this time, so sure they won't be happened. able to lose her. I'm not sure what happened there. Did McCarter think she was inbounds, or did she not yeah. know where she was, or did she, did she block it first? Vollenbacher now back to Renninger. Renninger right side to a wide open down low. Sarver up and good. Sarver's great got pass. four. Yeah, great eyes on the uh, court for Redinger. Here's the Zebras back down the other end. Hunter has it. Hunter's pass is deflected, picked up by Argus. Renninger will look to slow things down. Now it gives it off. Top the key. Back to Renninger. Three on the way for her. Off the front of the iron. No good. McCarter tips it. Ball's loose. And we're going to have a foul, I believe. Yep, we're going to have a shove. And I believe it's going to be on Bullenbacher. It is her second. And that's just the first of the quarter for either team. We've almost played seven minutes, and that's the first foul. Let's see if Hunter Coach comes out and Hadeshell back in. Let's see if Coach Jennings goes to the bench here. He has not made a sub yet. Looks like he's going to bring one in here, the next dead ball. All right. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Wilson over the top now to Clevenger. Clevenger has it. Clevenger to McCarter. Free throw line jumper on the way too hard. And McCarter fights for the rebound, and I believe she's going to get called for the foul. Nope. They're going to whistle Sarver for it. Zebras get a break. And that's the second one. And Coach Jennings will go to the bench and bring in Sophia Austin. And she'll replace Bullenbacher. Austin, a senior on this Argus Dragon team. Sophia's younger brother, Makai Austin, is a freshman on the boys' basketball team at Argus. Wilson looked at a three straight away, passed it up. Now here she is giving it off to Clevenger. Last touch by Argus. It'll stay with Rochester right in front of the student body. And Lead doing a nice job defensively for them, for Argus. Minute 10 to go in the half, 26-15. Dragons lead on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Cross court all the way to Clevenger, now to Wilson. Wilson, three, right side, off the mark, no good, and it'll go out of bounds. Nope, saves with Wilson. Wilson gets it, goes up off the glass, good. Nice job by Mia Hadeshaw to tip it in, keep it in bounds. Argus wasn't ready for it, and it goes off her hands into Wilson, off the glass, good for Rochester. Under a minute to go. Lead with it. Now to the Carter Sarver. Sarver has it. Sarver picks up her dribble. Now they go to Barkas. Barkas gets it back. Now they go to uh, Austin. Back up top to Redinger. Three straight away. Off the mark. No good. Ball's loose. McCarter picks it up. Good defense there by the Lady Z's on Redinger. Clevenger. Back over the top to Wilson. I'm going to guess last 20 seconds. Zebra's a hole. Almost stolen by Redinger. Now knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. The whole Argus bench jumped up. Yeah. They thought Redinger had that steal. Just missed it. She was just a fraction away from it. 20.4 seconds to go. 26-17. Argus leads. It'll be Zebra basketball underneath their own ba basket. Baseline left. But it'll be a tough angle if you want it to get is. a quick layup off an inbounds yeah. play. Maybe they just kick it out and, they and do. set something up for the last shot. Right out to McCarter. McCarter back to... Clevenger back to McCarter. 15 seconds remain. Wilson right wing. Down to 12. Down to 9 with Wilson up the top. 8. 
Down to seven, back to McCarter, almost stolen again. Here's Wilson from the volleyball line, a deep three, and it'll go out of bounds, and that'll do it for the quarter. At the end of one half complete on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, the Dragons, Vargas, 26, your Rochester Zebras, 17. Back with a halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier when we come back to Rochester High School, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Judson. I want to give a shout out to the Rochester wrestling team. They beat Peru last night, 69 yes. to 12. Included one of the wins was by Lily Gerald. Who beat a boy. <laughs> All right. Argus will start with the basketball and just quickly like that in two passes. Barkas shuffles her feet and they start out with a turnover here with three seconds going by. Zebras will get it. McCarter, Wilson, Clevenger, Bollinger, and Field. The five on the floor, original five four. Uh, for, or for uh, Argus as well, Renninger, Lead, Bollenbacher, and Sarver. Here's Rochester with it. Still that 1-3-1 one, one for the Dragons. McCarter, now to go right side, now to Wilson. Wilson, back up top to McCarter, they swing it left side, now to Clevenger, over the top, Wilson. Zebra's trying to uh, get it into the post maybe a little bit, down to Bollinger or Field. Not able to do so right now, here's Wilson. They kick it left side, down to Clevenger. Bollinger kicks it out, right back over to Wilson. Zebras with some nice ball movement, but unfortunately not getting that look at a shot yet. 40 seconds into the possession. Here is Wilson with it. Wilson on the far side. And, and this is okay if you are up 26 uh, to 17. Oh, if you're an Argus fan, you gotta be feeling really good about the way your team's playing defense yeah. in this possession. I mean, they're really denying the, the elbows. Wilson, three on the way from the right side, off the mark, no good. The rebound fought for, and Ballenbacher comes away with it. Bollenbacher will give it ahead to Marcus. Now to Renninger, back to Marcus. Marcus goes over the top to Bollenbacher. Now they swing it to Renninger. Back to Bollenbacher. Bollenbacher against Bollinger. Kicks it out to Lead. Lead has it. Now to Marcus. Six and a half to go here in this third quarter. Renninger against Clevenger. Gets a screen. Now they go to Marcus. Now over to Lead. Three on the way for her. Off the mark. No good. Crashing rebound and... We're going to have a jump ball and go back jump to the Zebras. Turns over to the Zebras. That was Field and Bollenbacher battling for that one. Argus tried to set a screen against the zone, and Aubrey Wilson made a nice little move to kind of fight over the screen and made it a tough possession for Argus. Going to be a nice battle over the next couple of years, Bollenbacher and Field, as they yeah. continue to get better. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Top of the key to Wilson. Back to the left side. Now to Clevenger. Three on the way for Riley. No good. Rebound uh, fought for. Comes away to lead. And it was just she's double pumping yeah. and just it's not a smooth looking shot. Lead. Marcus. Back to lead. Three on the way for her. Right side. Off the mark. No good. Bollinger with a quick rebound. Off to McCarter. McCarter will bring it across. Under six to go to third. Clevenger. Over the top to McCarter. McCarter drives in. Kicks it back out to Wilson. Wilson will bring it towards us. Down to Clevenger, drives in, leaves it for field, down low, goes up off the glass, no good, but a foul coming. And that's going to be on Sarver, her third. That's going to be frustrating if you're Sarver because she got back on defense and made a nice play in transition, but Rochester able to reset in the half court. So that will send Zebras to the line, and field will go there. She's one for two in the night back in the first quarter. She'll have two more opportunities here. First one on the way for Jaden Field is in and out and back out. 26-17. She put some spin on the ball. Yeah. But it – okay. I. <laughs> you know, watch closer this time. Yeah. It's not going in as often as it should. That one does, see? You just need to pay closer attention, Val. Yeah. 26-18. That comment came out of left field. <laughs> that one goes in center field. Now here to Bollinger. Bollenbacher with the basketball. Bollinger down low in the – Middle, there they put Bollenbacher down against her. She goes up and good. What a pass from Redinger. That really was. That was to the opposite block. 28-18, back to a 10-point lead. Wilson to McCarter, right in front of the Zebra bench. McCarter penetrates. Now to Wilson. Left side, now to Clevenger. Clevenger then is going to get a, he's going to be fouled. And Redinger going to get a reach-in foul. Just her first, team Redinger second. Number 10, Redinger. Rendinger hasn't scored yet this quarter. Three min almost three minutes gone by. Zebra's only one free throw so far in the quarter as well. Over the top, here is McCarter. McCarter gives it to Wilson. 
Wilson drives in, goes down low to field. Field backs her way against Sarver, goes up no good, gets her own rebound, back up, blocked by Lead. Lead with a rebound. Lead gives it off to Marcus, Marcus back to Lead. Now up top to Renninger. Here's in the corner to Sarver. Sarver gives it off to Bullenbacher. They try to go back to Sarver, but it's stolen, now stolen back by Bullenbacher. And we get a timeout by Coach Jennings. It will be a, uh, wait and see. It's going to be a 30, I believe. We'll keep it here with 4.35 to go. A 10-point Dragon lead, 28-18. Stallmate here to start the third quarter, Val. 4.35, we're almost halfway through. And uh, Argus, a field goal. Rochester, a free throw. Is that what yeah, you had planned? That, 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 Is that, that what you had in your drawing? That, that would be a, <laughs> that would be an accurate statement of what's gone on. <laughs> no, no, uh, no answer needed on yeah, that, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, don't what did they say? Don't confuse activity yeah. for accomplishment. Argus to inbound after the timeout. They get it to lead. Lead in the far corner. Now she'll bring it back up top. Redinger will start the offense around the screen. Redinger. 15-footer on the way, too hard, no good. Rebound comes away to Argus, throws up a shot, and it goes in, and that is Bullenbacher. Bullenbacher with four points in the quarter, and it's 30 to 18. Here's Clevenger, right side. I think Bullenbacher was surprised I went in the basket as much as anybody. I think so. Clevenger, now to McCarter, drives down. McCarter looking to Wilson. Wilson, top to key him to Clevenger. Clevenger backs it back out. This I really this. like Sarver defensively. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of responsibility on the defensive end. She's done a really good, nice job. Yeah, she's the she's the one in that one three one. There's a shot by McCarter. McCarter has four points now on the evening, and it's 30-20. I think the one three one has really got Rochester kind of confused, maybe a little bit. Yeah, first field goal of the quarter by Rochester. For about a Down low, they go to Sarver. Sarver goes up, no good, but a foul coming on Bullinger. Bowling are going to pick up her first foul and the first of the quarter for Rochester. There's a shooting foul, so that'll send Sarver to the line. Who made that post entry pass because that was a heck of a pass? Yeah. Sarver's got four points all in the first quarter or first half, and that one's missed. She'll have another one. Alicia Sarver's father, a very prominent umpire. Umpire, referee. Referee. Yeah. Free throw, second one's good. And so it's 31 to 20. Back to an 11-point lead. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Now to the near side to McCarter. McCarter, one dribble, picks it up. Back to Wilson. Wilson penetrates, leaves it for Clevenger on the far wing. Down to McCarter. Just outside the elbow jumper. Good. McCarter's got four in the quarter. Eight for the, or six for the game. That looks smooth. That did. That was a, that was a good looking shot. Needs to shoot that one a little more. Here is Argus with the basketball back up top. Now they get a screen and they go to Redinger. Redinger into the corner. Redinger against McCarter. Now double teamed by Wilson. She gets it off. Mullenbacher now to Redinger cutting through and she's going to be fouled and go back to the line. Yeah, Redinger knows what to do. When the ball gets stuck on the sides and she knows to cut to the hoop and make herself available. Fields third and the team's second of the quarter. And now Redinger will look for her first point of the second half with two free throws. First one, good. And Hunter will come in for Rochester. I'm going to guess she's replacing Field, and she does. So Braylon Hunter coming in. She had seven in the first half, all in the second quarter when Rochester needed a little spark. There's the second free throw by Redinger. Good. She's got 14. 33-22, 2.50 to go here in the third. Rochester with the basketball. Wilson leaves it out for McCarter. McCarter, now to Wilson. Right side down to Clevenger. Clevenger back up top. Wilson to McCarter, drives in, elbow to Hunter. She'll fire a three from the left side, no good. Long rebound, goes to Renninger. Renninger will go into the corner to Sarver. Now back up top. That's Marcus, three on the way for her, off the mark, no not, good. Not a good shot. Wilson with a rebound. Wilson has it, quickly ahead to Clevenger. Clevenger, cross court to McCarter. She looks at a three, can't get it. 
Now picks it up, goes to Wilson. Three on the way for Wilson. Off the mark, no good. They yeah, tip it to lead. It's not a smooth looking shot. No. Ella's last shot was smooth looking. Yeah. But you can tell just Clevenger and Wilson both are just slumping a little bit right now. Bollinger, Bollenbacher to, to Barkas, back to Bollenbacher. Now Braylon Hunter face guarding Redinger. She's going to chase her everywhere she goes. And here's Bollenbacher, and she draws the foul as Bollenbacher goes baseline. And Bollinger going to pick up her second, team third. So now, as Samantha Renninger walks over to Coach Jennings and says, they're face guarding me, we're going to have to change up the offense. <laughs> and Joel Burris is saying, didn't Bollenbacher bowl over Bollinger? It's a lot of bowling. First free throw is missed. And the official said, I'll spare you the answer you want to hear. <laughs> it definitely was not a strike. <laughs> free throw missed. Second one on the way. Bollenbacher makes the second one. She's got nine on the evening. 34-22 with a minute 30 to go here in this third quarter. Into the corner to Hunter. Hunter with the basketball, drives in. Hunter into the paint, throws up a running jumper. Good. Hunter now with nine. Now off to Bollenbacher to lead. Again, Hunter chasing Redinger all over the place. Here's a 15-footer on the way, no good. Bollenbacher with the rebound, back up and good. Still have to block out, even though you're chasing Redinger. Somebody's got to make sure they get a body on everybody. Yeah, Bollenbacher earned a lot, herself a lot of playing time last year as a freshman with her offensive yeah. rebound. It, this, that's not anything new for her. McCarter, left wing, three on the way, short, rims around. Clevenger with the rebound. Clevenger down in the paint, has it stripped, but a foul coming, and that's going to be on Bollenbacher, her third. Riley and Clevenger, offensive rebounder. Yeah. Dragons foul, 24, Bollenbacher. So Mia Hadeshell will come in, and Bollinger will sit down. So it's Hunter. Hottishell, Clevenger, Wilson, and McCarter on the floor now for Rochester. And if you're Coach Jennings, do you keep Bollenbacher on the floor? I, th I think you do. They go into McCarter. McCarter in the paint, stolen by Renninger. Renninger, one on one, left hand, left good. There's really her first steal and layup on the lead. Here's Wilson with it, now to Clevenger, almost stolen again. Hottishell over the top to McCarter. McCarter to Wilson. Wilson. The Clevenger drives in the paint, kicks it back out to Wilson, right side to McCarter. 28 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter, it's Wilson with the basketball. Back over to McCarter with 20 seconds. McCarter dribbles in to Wilson. She'll fire a three left wing off the mark, no good. Clevenger with another rebound. She'll yeah, reset just, it back out top. The ball is just spinning, going way left off her hands. There, and there's a push off by McCarter as she tries to drive in. And Ella McCarter going to pick up her first, team fourth. And Argus will have a chance with 9.7 seconds to go. But the thing is, Aubrey Wilson's a competitor. She, yeah. will, she will figure it out. Here comes Barkas with, the with her basketball. Now to Reininger with three. They give it to lead. Back to Reininger off the screen at the buzzer. Good. And that will do it for the third quarter. At the end of three. Dragons 41, Zebras 24. Back with the fourth and final quarter after this. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School. Zebras trail 41 24 as Renninger hits a three at the buzzer. Here's the bad part, Val. Possession arrows in favor of the Dragons to start the fourth quarter. So a chance at a double possession. And that was a weird play because. You know, they were dribbling it up, and they didn't seem to be in a hurry. No. And then Redinger passes the ball with, like, four seconds to go. Yeah. I'm like, what is she doing? Yeah. You want her to have the ball with four seconds left? And no, they had set up a play and set a screen. I think Coach Jennings said. And now we're going to have a whistle, and it's going to be on a hot -a shell, I believe. And it is. As hot -a shell runs over a dragon. So it'll be first on her, first on the period with one second gone by. Redinger to inbound. They get it into Bollenbacher. Bollenbacher drives in, loses it, it's tipped, and it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Turnover Seven. number eight for Argus. 
10 turnovers for Rochester. There hasn't really been a ton of turnovers. No, no, turnovers have been pretty good. But Argus has really protected the ball better since the first quarter. Here is Rochester with the basketball. Clevenger into McCarter at the, and at the elbow oh, and a foul be. coming. And Bullenbacher just picked up her fourth, and the uh, referee got a, gave her an eye as she didn't like that, a little disgusted. And a substitution is going to come in for Bullenbacher. She'll go out with four, and coming in will be Austin. 11 right now for Bullenbacher. She sits down. Clevenger with the inbounds. Now to McCarter. McCarter, top the key, dribbles in, leaves it right side. Now in the corner, hot shell. Three on the way for Mia. Way off the mark. Hunter with the rebound, back up too hard. And Redinger with the rebound. Here comes Redinger. Now she gives it off to Barkas. Barkas back to Redinger. Back over to Barkas. Three on the way for her. Good. Barkas has six. And the Dragons extend the lead now to 20. And it's tipped out of bounds by Redinger. 7-14 to go here, 20-point lead now for the Dragons, 44-24 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. They've been getting ball reversals a little bit better in the second half, and Barkas nothing but net on that shot. Here is Clevenger around the defender, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound, hot a shell. Off to Hunter. Hunter with the basketball. Now up top to Wilson. Right side to Clevenger, or excuse me, to McCarter. To Clevenger, right side. Over to Wilson, to Hunter. Three on the way for Hunter. Off the mark, no good. McCarter with a rebound. McCarter to Hottishell. Hottishell dribbles in, kicks it back out to Hunter. Hunter with it. Going to have it stripped, but a foul coming. And that's going to be the second on Barkas and the second of the quarter for the Dragons. Zebras will have it here on the near side. Hottishell will look to inbound. Big game in the Hoosier North tonight, just down the road with North Judson at Caston. Mm, that is a big game. Caston, uh, I know, is 1 0 in the conference. Of course, they're the defending conference champions. And then Caston's got to go to Triton on Saturday. That'll be a good one as well. Yeah. Here's the Zebras with the inbounds. Now they go in the corner to Clevenger. Back to McCarter. Swings it top side. Now in the corner, Hot a Shell. To a cutting Hunter in the paint. Throws up the shot. No good. And a rebound coming to Sarver and a foul on Hunter. Hunter still trying to crash the boards. And unfortunately, picked up her first foul, team second of the quarter. 6.28 remaining here in this fourth quarter. 44-24. Argus with a lead, and here comes a little pressure by the Zebras. Here is lead with it. Lead has it. Now over to Barkas. Barkas back to Redinger. Redinger into Austin. Austin has it down low to Sarver. Back to Austin. They give it to Redinger. Three on the way for her off the front of the iron. No good. Barkas with a rebound. Back to Redinger. Into that to Austin. They swing it back outside. Here's Redinger going to the hole. Stripped by McCarter. Picked up by Sarver. Here's Barkas. And Barkas is going to be fouled. As she goes attacking, foul, two, Wilson, Wilson picks up her second, team third. team third. Argus will look to inbound. Here's the inbound, stolen by Wilson. Wilson down to the other end, right hand layup, up and good. Wilson. Wilson with her first points of the second half. She has nine on the evening, 44-26. Redinger, three from the corner, off the mark, no good. And Austin with the rebound. She kicks it out to lead. Big rebound by Austin. Out of Mar Barkas. Barkas, top of the key, has it. Here's Sarver to Redinger. Back up top to Barkas. The Argus kids are really smart in that they, whenever the ball gets on the sidelines, they know to get rid of it quickly. Redinger, down low to lead. Lead brings it back out. Lead has it. it Almost dribble? travels. Now to Redinger. Down low to Austin. Up off the glass. Good. Great eyes. By Redinger to see Sophia Austin underneath wide open. 46-26. Here is Wilson to Clevenger. Clevenger just inside the three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, Clevenger. Clevenger has it to Hunter. Hunter then is going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to see two. Barkas picks up her third, but she's going to make Hunter earn it. 
as she makes sure she got the ball, and now Raylan Hunter will have to shoot two free throws. And Argus continues to, to extend that 1-3-1, one, one, just trying to run Rochester three, off the three-point line with a 20-point lead. Here is Hunter. Free throw on the way for her is good. Now in double digits for Braylon Hunter, has 10. She'll have a second opportunity. Here's a second free throw for Hunter. Good again. Hunter leads the way with 11. Coming off the bench for Rochester, 46-28. Here's Argus ahead to Redinger. Redinger has the pass deflected, but right back into her hand. Shot up, no good. Redinger with her own rebound. Here's lead with it. Now to Sarver. Foot's on the line. Missed the shot. Clevenger with the doing? rebound. That was a terrible possession by yeah. Argus. Forcing shots. Clevenger then loses the basketball and goes out of bounds. Argus played that position like they're like they're down yeah. by 18 and not ahead by 18. So it'll be Zebras bringing in field. And Hadesha will sit down. So Zebra's going to put a little pressure here on the Dragons with 4.21 to go, trailing 46-28. They go down to the other end to Sarver. Sarver's got to go get it. has got to hustle, and she steals it from field somehow. Clevenger now with a steal. Ahead to Wilson. Wilson, left-hand layup, up and good. That was interesting great, somehow. Great play by Clevenger. So Austin, up and good to the other end. Austin running the floor, and they saw her, got it up to her, and it's 48-30. I think that's a career high, four points for Austin. <laughs> Here's Wilson with it. Over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger down low to Field. Field against Sarver at the block, up and good. Field now has four. Here comes the press again by the Zebras, 48-32. Give it to Barkas. Barkas quickly ahead to Sophia, up again. Sophia Austin, six unanswered points for her. 50-32. Well, what did, what did Coach Burris say? He goes, if we, went, if we go away from our defense, it probably means we're not doing very well. Right. And he's had to press, and that means they're not doing very well. There's a turnover, and now we get a timeout. It'll be a 60 for Coach Jennings. 50-32. 3.13 to go here on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. To the timeout by the Argus Dragons. It'll be their basketball to come the length of the floor. Rochester looking to put some pressure on. Redinger gets it into Barkas ahead to lead. Lead almost loses it, and now she does travel. Turnover on Argus. 50-32, Dragons lead here with just 3.09 to go. First half of a back-to-back -back for Argus. They are at Culver Academy tomorrow night. Here's McCarter with the basketball. McCarter back over to Wilson. Wilson over the top, and that one's going to be tipped and stolen by Renninger. Renninger, jump stops, lane, up and good. Renninger's got two more, and it's 52-32, back to a 20-point game. Here's McCarter. To Wilson, almost loses it. Back to McCarter, stolen again. Here's Renninger, left-hand layup this time, good. 54-32, two and a half to go. Here is Wilson, Wilson over the top. Oh, knocked loose by Barkas, again by Barkas. Ball's loose, and we're going to have a foul on a loose ball against Wilson. It's going to be her third, team's fourth. And it'll be out of bounds as Wilson will come out. Hottishill comes in. No, Morgan, Morgan Barkas was kind of the unknown on this team. Hadn't, hadn't had a whole lot of varsity experience. Did hit a big three-pointer in the sectional last year, but uh, to beat, I think it was Westville. Yeah. But really, it didn't have a lot of experience. Boy, she was a beast defensively there. Down low here is Mullenbacher. Kicks it out to Sarver. Back over to Renninger. Renninger drives the lane. Kicks it out to Barkas. Barkas back to Renninger. Goes down low, throws up a shot, got it. Samantha Renninger. Renninger with two more, 56-32, under two to go. Well, she holsters that shot, interestingly. McCarter at the other end, elbow jumper, no good. Quick rebound for the Dragons. Here's Renninger into Bollenbacher, who's cutting through the lane and a foul on the floor, but that'll be the team fifth. So the Dragons will go to the line to shoot two. And Bolenbacher, I believe, will do that. 
Bollenbacher will go to the line. Wilson comes back in. Field will sit down. And we have a timeout. 60 second timeout. 144 to go here at the Rochester High School. Back more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School after the Zebra timeout. Shooting at the line will be Bollenbacher. She's got 11 on the evening. She'll have a chance for two more. First one on the way, a dead eye bullet, and it rolls out. 56 32, 144 to go here in the contest. Second one on the way for Bollenbacher. It's up, and that one's good. She's got 12. 57 32. Here is Wilson. Picks it up just as she gets across the timeline. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger back to Wilson. Here's Wilson. Has the pass knocked down by lead. Minute 28 to go. It'll be Zebra basketball right in front of the Zebra bench. Again, Samantha Redinger is always going to get a lot of attention for how many points she scores, but the key has been Argus's defense in this game. Shutting out Riley Clevenger. Zebras has not scored in double digits any quarter. Yeah. Here's Clevenger going to be knocked out of bounds by Argus. It will stay with Rochester at the half court. 118 to go, 57-32. And Morgan Barkas has been tremendous defensively on top of the 131. That always Sarver requires a lot of Sarver has been a it. great job on the bottom Sarver, of that 131. Yeah, Sarver has Sarver's done a great job as well. Here is Clevenger into McCarter. McCarter at the elbow. Puts it on the floor. One bounce out to Clevenger. Three on the way for her. No good. Gets her own rebound. She goes up off the glass. Still no good. Hottishell with the rebound. Back up. No good. Clevenger again. No good. And the rebound comes away to Bollenbacher. And she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the other end to shoot two. You know it's not your night when you have three opportunities two foot away and none of them go in. And unfortunately, none of them was even close. So back to the free throw line we go for Bollenbacher. Out of all the possibilities tonight, Argus winning, winning by 25 was not on my bingo card. No. <laughs> this has been a superb effort by the Lady Dragons. They know Bollenbacher's first one good. They know they're in a tough conference. They've got... They still got Bethany Christian down the road in their conference. Of course, Bethany was in the state finals last year. Substitutions all around for Argus. Bollenbacher makes this one. She'll get a substitution as well. It's up and good for her. She'll end with 14 for the night. Grace Thomas now in for Argus. 25 for Redinger. Thomas in, also Kelly in. Here's Zebras with a basketball. Hunter on the far side, drop, dribbles in. Also Austin back in, and that's a steal for Kelly. Kelly's pass then is going to be stolen by Clevenger, and a foul going to come against Gibson. Lexi Gibson going to pick up her first, and just the team fourth. So it'll be out of bounds with 37.1 to go. 59-32 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Clevenger with the basketball to hot shell in the corner. Over the top to Hunter. Hunter has to go get it. Now backs it back out to Wilson. Wilson to a wide open hot shell. Back pass was behind her and had to go get that one as well. Back up top here is Wilson to Clevenger. A deep three on the way for her. Air balls it. Battle four and stepped out of bounds. And that's going to be Grace Thomas. Had the rebound, but unfortunately lost her balance and falls out of bounds with 14 seconds to go. Hottishell will inbound. Hottishell throws it over the top to Clevenger, or excuse me, to McCarter. McCarter to Wilson with 10. Now here's Clevenger to Hunter in the corner. Hunter double team over the top to Wilson. Hottishell has it to Hunter. Hunter at the buzzer up and good, and that's going to do it for the ball game. Braylon Hunter has two at the buzzer and a final tonight. 59-34. The Rochester Zebras lose to the Argus Dragons in non-conference basketball on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We'll be back with the halftime or with the post-game show brought to you by Peterson Wagner and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. 
Again, the final on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 59-34. Dragons over the Zebras. Back to Rochester High School after this. Timeout. RTC TV4 and Giant FM. Yeah. 